find yourself missing fresh baked bread? How about a baked potato? Or maybe brownies? But your boat doesn't have an oven. Well, I've got a solution for you. Hi there, I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, I'll tell you about the best way I've found to bake on board without an oven, the Omnia Stovetop Oven. Before we start, though, today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Sea Dog Boating Solutions, makers of the Landing Loop Docking Pole. Revolutionize your docking with a landing loop. No more waiting for help when approaching a dock. No more dangerous leaps from boat to shore. Make every docking safe and easy with the landing loop. Check out SeaDogBoatingSolutions.com to learn more. Use coupon code BOATGALLEYLOOP for 10% off your landing loop purchase. Good through December 31st of 2021. The landing loop. Revolutionize your docking. So, you don't have an oven, but you still want some baked goods like cookies, cakes, breads, maybe a meatloaf. Well, you can bake it all on the stovetop with the Omnia Stovetop Oven. I've tried a number of methods of baking on the stove, in a Dutch oven, with a pressure cooker, both dry and with water, and in a Coleman Camp oven. And the Omnia is hands down the easiest and produces the best results. Way back in 2011, when a reader recommended the Omnia oven, I decided to buy one and test it out. I absolutely love it. Okay, so let's talk about how it works. There's three pieces to the Omnia oven. There's a steel base, an aluminum ring-shaped baking pan, and then there's a lid. The burner directly heats the steel base, which in turn heats the air trapped between the base and the baking pan. The burner also heats air that goes up the center of the baking pan, and the lid serves to distribute that hot air over the top of the food. Thus, there's hot air both under and above the baking pan, plus in the center. Few air holes in the lid allow steam to escape. It can be used with virtually any type of stove burner, gas, electric, or even various other fuels, with various camping and backpacking stoves even. You can also use it on a grill, which makes it easy to keep the cooking heat out of the boat. About the only one where it does have a problem is with any sort of an induction burner, because it's just not designed for that. Okay, let's talk about using the Omnia. The system is simple. You put the steel base on the burner, and you let it heat up for about three minutes over high heat. Put your food in the baking pan, put the lid on it, and then set the baking pan and lid onto the base. Now the instructions say to turn the burner down to medium or low. I found that I've had much better results if I left it on high for about one minute, literally timing it. That's to heat the air that's going to go up on top of the food. Then I turn it down to slightly higher than medium. You may need to experiment a little bit to see what works with your stove. Now, cooking time is about the same as with a conventional oven, but don't take the lid off too often to check on your food as you let out the hot air from the top each time. Now, it can be a little strange to bake without a thermostat to know that it's at the right temperature, but you can buy an external thermometer that will tell you exactly where it's at. Now, this is the same one that I've talked about otherwise on the Boat Galley blog. There's a link to it in the show notes. And both the Omnia and the thermometer are sold um, by Sea Dog Boating Solutions, the sponsor of this podcast. You may find it on Amazon, although usually Sea Dog is a better answer for finding it. And they seem to keep it in stock more regularly. I've never been really a fan of some of the other solutions that people espouse for baking on the stove, like the pressure cooker because it can warp the pan, a Dutch oven, it generally doesn't hold as much. The Coleman Camp oven is huge and tippy. The Omnia really is so much better. Okay, it's been designed from the ground up to bake on the stovetop. It's not a jury-rigged solution. The whole thing is smaller and much lighter than, say, a good cast iron oven. It's about 10 inches in diameter, five inches high, and only weighs about a pound. You can bake about twice as much in the Omnia as in a Dutch oven. 
You can bake about what would fit an 8x8 pan or a 9x5 loaf pan. And the results are better and easier to achieve. Okay, you want to know about buying this Omni up. Oh, it's not cheap, but it's not really expensive either. It's about $70 or maybe $90 with the accessories that you probably are going to want. That's an awful lot less than a new stove with that would have an oven, and there's nothing to install. You can get it from Sea Dog Boating Solutions or on Amazon. Sea Dog offers international shipping as well, and there's links to both of these in the show notes. Thanks! Hey, if you've enjoyed this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, please sign up, subscribe, and tell your friends about it. Thanks. Thanks.